Hello, it's Alex Goodall from Internet Professionals Blog with a video about a very useful tool that you may not know about, which helps you identify, well, which identifies the top ranking sites for any particular keyword. Now, obviously, you can do this by going to Google Direct, but with this tool, you can get the top 250 sites and you can export them to a CSV file and you can do all sorts of analysis. So it's a very, very useful research tool. You can see from the address bar here, it's serps.com slash tool slash rank checker, and it's completely free. It's uh, the, the main website. Um, if you want the full facilities, you've got to pay, and it, it is quite a significant cost. This is mainly for serious SEO companies. But they make this tool available for free, and for a lot of people, that's all you actually need to do. So say, for example, that you were in the market uh, of Sony flat, of flat screen TVs. Let's get the spelling right. And say you wanted to search for Sony flat screen TVs. Uh, you can specify a particular domain. So if you're not ranking in the top 250 results and you want to know where you do rank, you could put your domain in there and it will uh, find where you rank and uh, give you various details. But if you want to find who is ranking, then you do that. You can select uh, which search engine to go for. Let's go for United States English. You can say Google or Yahoo. Select device, desktop or mobile. And if you want to look at for very specific locations, you can do that as well. So this is very useful for um, local marketing. But let's do, let's just leave it at that, get all the results from google.com and I'll click go. Um, it encourages you to look at the features and start a trial, but we can close that because we don't want to do that. Just wait a little bit while it completes it. I'll pause the video while it's doing its work. Okay, it's completed its operation and there you can see the results. Uh, and surprisingly, Sony.com comes up top, but you can see Sears, Amazon, eBay, Best Buy, I guess Pinterest, that's interesting. So you can see all the sites that are ranking and th their positions. Um, it also shows you average monthly search and the cost per click, which is which is which can be useful. So let's say... I also wanted to go for Samsung flat put my R back in flat screen TV do the same thing again and I'll pause the video and it's completed that as well and there are the results for Samsung again Samsung comes up top then Amazon then Sears Walmart again and it's actually got both sets of results. As long as you don't leave the page or close the page down, you actually get both sets of results. Um, sorry. There, it's kept the, the Sony results there and it's added the Samsung results at the top. So if I download the CSV file, I'll get both sets of results in the file, which we'll look at now. So there's what the CSV file looks like, and it gives you the position, the URL, the keyword. And if we scroll down, you'll see that that keyword changes to Samsung flat screen TV. So it's got both sets of data. And obviously you can add, as uh, do searches for as many keywords as you want and get them all in the same file. So that's a pretty useful tool. I've been playing around with it looking for sites that rank for for keywords relating to recent launches just to see what's going on and I actually found some really useful information about um, who was ranking for uh, the last who's getting ranks for the last three or four uh, launches using the the keyword of the law of the product being launched and what sort of backlinking they're using uh, how their how their videos were doing very, very useful tool. So uh, 
I hope that's been helpful to you. If you find this video useful, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel to get more useful videos to help you do internet marketing more professionally. Thanks for your time. Alex Goodall, logging off. Uh, sorry, okay, I changed my mind. I wanted to add a little bit more to this video because looking at these results, just to show you the sort of interesting findings that you can discover by looking at these results. So going down, you see the obvious culprits, the main manufacturer, Walmart, Best Buy, Sears, HL Gregg. There's some, some very obvious ones. Wikipedia is interesting. Then you see Pinterest. So Pinterest has come up at number 17. New York Times uh, Prezi. So someone's created a Prezi and that's ranking at number 25. So that's that's interesting fact that, that, that you can rank at number 25 just using a Prezi. What else have we got here? Daily Mail, Craigslist, Buffalo. So of a specific location for Craigslist, that's ranking at number 42. And then what you might also want to do is if you see Prezi, something like that, then do a search. Say you say you had you'd search for five, six, seven. So Samsung, Sony, uh, other flat screen TVs, LG. You, you had a whole collection of results from different search terms. If you see one like that coming up for Prezi, say, well, does does Prezi rank for anybody else? OK, it, it doesn't in this case. But you can start to see patterns. So if you see that Prezi is ranking for two or three of those different keywords, flat screen TV keywords, that will tell you something. Uh, let's see, for example, if Craigslist appears more than once. Yes, so we've got Boston for Samsung. Buffalo for Sony, Boston for Samsung. So you can see the sort of things that you can find out. Look to, look to find the things that aren't obvious rankings. Uh, as YouTube. So again, let's, let's see how many YouTube rankings have come up. There's one, two. So number 10 for Sony is a YouTube video. Uh, number 10 for Samsung is a YouTube video as well. That's it. That's all we've got. But anyway, you get the idea of how once you've got all this keyword information in a spreadsheet, you can look for things that don't seem quite normal uh, or maybe if it seem normal. You just want to find out the extent of which someone is ranking on a particular site like Pinterest or YouTube or indeed Craigslist. OK, I hope this little extra demonstration of the usefulness of getting the results like this has been useful. So that is the end of this video now. Uh, thanks for your attention. And again, if you like it, please click the like button and definitely subscribe to get more useful videos. Bye bye for now.